Hey guys, good morning. So I wanted to do a quick bird cast report today. Um, today has, was was a good day. It was a good morning um, for birding. Uh, on I, I woke up Saturday morning and the numbers were not great. Um, as you can see, Saturday was pretty low. If it will load. Okay, see, Saturday was pretty low, and then you can kind of see the trend here at 9 a.m. Lots of birds took off, and then not really many came in that night. And then it was kind of the same way for Sunday night. Oops, not Sunday night. Yeah, it was kind of the same from Friday night as well when I woke up Saturday morning. Um, so you can see a bunch lifted off and then not very many came in. You can kind of see it from down here. So um, yeah, Saturday morning and Sunday morning were not so good. But Sunday night, last night, as you can see, there was quite a bit of activity, looks like through the most of the night. Um, and then 103,500 birds crossed over Monroe County. So I decided to go out this morning to see if I saw anything because there was also a medium bird alert which had changed from the weekend. Um, now it's medium, 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 Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So that's exciting. It must be maybe some weather patterns have changed. So um, I did decide to go out and I was pleasantly surprised with what I found. Um, I also took a look here, you know, medium activity it looks like through Florida um, for the next three days and some precipitation you can tell down here. So that might um, give us more birds. So, um, I went into eBird and I did put my findings on eBird. I saw um, two magnificent frigates. That's nothing new, you know, we see those around. Um, I did see six ospreys. I am seeing quite a few ospreys starting to migrate. Um, that's increasing. I saw three red-bellied woodpeckers. We see those all the time. That's pretty normal. I did see three yellow-throated vireos, which are a migrant, so that was pretty cool. Um, I saw only one barn swallow. Uh, I've been seeing more in the past two weeks, but this morning I only saw one. I did see another Baltimore Oriole, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then the black and white warbler I saw. I saw uh, two Cape May warblers. I saw a male and a female. Um, or maybe a juvenile male and then I also saw um, a northern perula I saw four yellow-throated warblers and I saw one summer tanager I have one bird that I did not document yet because I haven't I'm not sure I haven't identified it I want to say that it could be a prothonotary warbler um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure so I'm gonna try to identify it before I say what it is um, I will post a picture um, in the group so um, yeah I just wanted to share my findings this morning so today is a good day to go birding get out there and look for birds in the fruiting figs um, let me show you two in birdcast let me show you the live map from last night I don't know why I don't have that up here. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look. Oh, look at that activity. Around 11 o'clock, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Yep, all down the East Coast. Looks like birds were coming through the East Coast all night long. Even 5 o'clock in the morning, there was still movement. And then, you know, usually around 6.30 a.m., when the sun's coming up, they drop out of the sky and they come down. So, yeah, they were pretty active through the whole night. So that's another good thing to know with bird cast, how to know if birds just flew over or if they actually landed. And then the migration dashboard is really helpful, too, because you can kind of see the activity through the night was pretty steady and then dropping off right at 6.30 versus active liftoff and then nothing through the whole night, kind of like we saw on Friday night. See, it was like liftoff and then a whole lot of nada. So um, this is a good way to interpret your birdcast tools to kind of know when is it going to be a good day to go birding. Um, and yeah, definitely I did see um, a lot of these birds. 
I'm hoping maybe one that I saw. I really want to see the Black Bernie and Warbler. Um, haven't seen one yet, but somebody did spot one in, I believe, Martin County, West Palm area. So there are some reports of Black Bernie and Warblers coming through. Um, and then, like I said, I've seen the Orchard Oriole and the Baltimore Oriole um, just this past week, and I saw another one today. They don't look like this, the ones I've seen. They, they're, the ones I've seen are immature and female, so they, they, look, um, they look different. I'm going to post, though, in the group so you can take a look um, when I post what they look like. I uh, haven't seen any worm-eating warblers. I did see common nighthawks migrating last week. I haven't seen the eastern wood peewee, but these usually do show up soon. I did see eastern kingbirds last week. I might have seen a prothonotary warbler today. Um, haven't seen the least flycatcher or the hooded warbler. I've only seen one hooded warbler in my life. <laughs> so these are hard to find. They're usually like deep in the brush. But this is cool. I love this birdcast tool. It tells you what to expect. So this is kind of what is on the move now in our specific area. I did see the yellow-billed cuckoo. Uh, I believe two weeks ago um, a few people were seeing those so so you can see this year's numbers so far you can see the altitude you can see the direction they're going um, they're going south southeast and um, they're just going they're heading our way so uh, it's really nice in the fall you have a way bigger chance of seeing more birds during fall migration than you do in the spring um, in the Keys so in other parts of Florida you know they they get a lot in spring more on the west coast um, but in the east coast I mean fall migration is your time so um, so yeah today get out there look in the fruiting figs this is where you want to find them um, this is pretty much where I'm finding all my birds is in fruiting figs and other fruiting trees fruiting gumbo limbos but really the fruiting figs you have the highest chance at finding the most species in one tree so if you're short on time <laughs> like I am trying to get some birding in before work or after or on your lunch or something fruiting figs are the way to go so find them in your neighborhood find where the fruiting figs are know where they are and just go ahead and get on your bike or go walking whatever and go looking for them so um, all right guys well I just wanted to do a quick bird cast update this morning because today was an active day I don't generally report on days that are not super active um, or that I went out and I didn't really see anything um, but when we get to peak I will kind of be reporting more daily so um, but we're getting there we're getting there we're mid-September you know um, the second week of uh, October first two weeks of October are our peak so things are really starting to pick up all right thanks I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you find lots of birds <laughs>